I'm Joshua Rose, uh, Form Design Studio, one of the principals. And I'm Rafi Kalikstein. I'm the other principal at Form Design Studio. We are an interior design and product design firm, uh, specializing in luxury residential and boutique hospitality. And we work primarily out of our office in Los Angeles, and we work on projects at this point uh, all over the globe. What is his name? <laughs> his what name are, is, what his are his name? His name is Jersey. We have a dog. We used to have more, but now we just have one. And yes, he's little and cute and white with huge ears, kind of bat size ears. And he's definitely part corgi. He's not a corgi, he's part corgi. Our collection with Maribon came about in a really organic way. Uh, we were working on a project and in Beverly Hills and we had all of the rugs designed and specced and the client um, said, no, I, I have a guy you need to call. And she was the kind of client that had a guy for everything and it was always the wrong guy. Um, but in this case, it turned out they were the right guys. And Sohail and Sammy um, took really good care of us and we hit it off instantly. And in the process of creating the designs for that project, um, I don't even know who said it first, but we just, the conversation of creating a collection with Maribon came about and it just happened. And then to answer the question of how we come up with our designs, where the original artwork comes from, um, the first collection that we did with Maribon, which is entitled Bizou, uh, all came from original paintings that we did in our studio, the two of us. And our second collection, Bachi, was inspired um, by lots of things in Italy, as you might imagine. Uh, and so the, all, all of the artwork comes directly from our studio. It's, um, it's done in-house, and then we work with Maribon to, to translate those into rug. The things that drew us to collaborate with Maribon are maybe not necessarily the things that one might think, but I think at the very bottom of all of it is integrity and trust. And for us, those are critical characteristics because you can go anywhere and find someone to make something with, but you want to enjoy it and you want to know that, that you have a shared common goal. And that's really something that we have here and it's very special. And the a really wonderful team to work with, really committed to any crazy idea that we bring to the table. Um, they get on board and, and help us find the best um, resources around the world to realize those designs. And that's, I think, something that uh, as a product designer and an artist, you can't, um, to have somebody help you create your commissions in the most beautiful way possible is uh, a real gift. And that's what they give to us. The question of quality is a really important one for me as a designer. I think quality exists at the intersection of some other characteristics. Know-how, experience, and an attention to detail, as well as a personal drive for the thing that you're doing. I think if you don't have those elements, quality can't be the result. Our newest collection, Bocce, for Maribon, I think the, the genesis of the whole collection came from a moment of inspiration for one of the rugs, the first rug, I think, that we really designed for the collection called Peaky. And that came about, we were in Florence at our one of our favorite, uh, our favorite place to go in the afternoon for a beautiful glass of wine and lunch. And uh, we were, I think, waiting to pay, and I noticed the um, espresso machine had this really beautiful tile um, guard, I guess, to, to protect it from the people in the cafe. And it was such a gorgeous pattern, and I just I snapped a photo of it, and I went back to the table and showed it to Rafi, and I said, this would be such a beautiful rug. Um, and that just kind of started our, our wheels turning to think about all of the different patterns that we see. We, we spend, we're lucky to spend a fair amount of time in Italy, and we really love Italy. And um, so we just started looking at all different facets of the city and everywhere we went, the cities and everywhere we went for, through that lens mm -hmm. is my memory of it. Um, 
I think if you ask me to pick one, I would have to pick Orseola, which is named after and designed for not an object, but a person, a very dear friend whose name is Orseola, who is all things spectacular. She is chic, she is poised, she's confident, she's strong, she's brave, she's refined, she's everything you could ever aspire to be. And we had hoped to capture some of those qualities in the rug that we designed um, in her honor. I am definitely most creative and most productive uh, during the day. And uh, the earlier in the day, the better. I tend to just start declining. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I'm most creative in my sleep. Uh, a huge amount of my inspiration comes to me in dreams. And I think I'm very productive during the day, but I think my, um, I can always count on my sleep state to bring me inspiration. The most important thing that I've learned about business is uh, to be nimble and flexible. And uh, just being willing, whether it's for a client or um, for a vendor or for the economy, to uh, be able to move quickly. And I think uh, it's, I think, it's hard to identify the most important thing that I've learned about business, but I do believe that what I thought my business was yesterday is not what my business is going to be tomorrow. And so making sure that I'm not mired in old habits, and as Josh said, be nimble, be flexible. The world is always changing and you have to continue to reinvest in yourself and in that sense reinvest in your business. And in some ways, I think that's the key to being fulfilled by one's business. I think my dream commission is an eco resort and the list of architects with whom I'd like to work is also very, very long. So I don't think I could narrow it down, but something that is about nature, that is about holistic living, something that is about reconnecting and, and the origin of design, which is how we live in our environment. I think that's really a boutique, boutique eco resort. Mine would also be hospitality, boutique hospitality, but something that where we are involved in every single touch point that the guest has um, from the minute they arrive uh, to the minute that they, they leave in terms of their experience, everything they touch, the smells, the, the all of the sights, just all of the aspects to create a really immersive design experience uh, in a hospitality setting. <laughs> the advice I would give myself is you don't know anything <laughs> and keep learning, keep learning, keep learning and um, stay humble and open. I think I would give the advice of patience to myself if I could give my self-advice, you know, retroactively. Um, all things come with time, and the things that you're ready for are the things that come to you. I think it's very easy to get confused about the order of things. The other piece of advice um, I think I would give is be kind to yourself.